Hi friends, uh, today we were doing quadratic equations. I am continuing that. We will do a few more problems and then we will complete this uh, chapter. Please take these problems. Now the first one is find the roots of the equation x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 x minus 1 by x is equal to 3. This is a quadratic equation given in our textbook and we are asked to find the roots of the equation. Now here this must be removed. This x it must it is not in the standard form. This equation is not in the standard form. We have to first bring it. So what we have to do is this is to be removed. To remove that the entire equation should be multiplied by x. Now, if you multiply it, it becomes x into x, x square minus 1 by x into x, xx will get cancelled, 1 is equal to 3. x square minus 1 is equal to 3. Now, x square minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0. So x square minus 4 is equal to 0. Now this can be done either by factorization or by formula method, any method we can use. Now here the factors of x square minus 4, 4 can be written as 2 square. So it is of the form a square minus b square. The factors will be a plus b into a minus b. x plus 2 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. So either x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 2 is 0. If x plus 2 is 0, then x is minus 2. If x minus 2 is 0, x is equal to plus 2. So these are the roots. The roots of the equation are one root is minus 2 and the other root is plus 2. So this is how it should be done. Next, one more, find the roots of the equation 1 by x plus 4, 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 is equal to 11 by 30, 11 by 30, it is given like this, so <coughs> we have to find the roots that is we have to find the value of x. Now here we, we have to bring it first into the standard form. You know this is a fraction. This is a fraction. This is another fraction. There is a negative sign between them. That means one fraction is being subtracted by the from the other fraction. So what we have to do is when we are adding or subtracting two fractions we have to take the LCM the LCM is x plus 4 into x minus 7. Here you will get x minus 7 into 1. So that 1 can be, because it is 1 you can neglect it. So here x plus 4 is equal to 11 by 30. So x minus 7 minus x minus 4 divided by here we will get x into x x square minus 7x x into minus 7 plus 4x 4 into x plus into minus minus 4 into 7 28 is equal to 11 by 30 now this and this will get cancelled 
this is plus x that is minus x minus 7 minus 4 it is 11 minus 11 divided by x square minus 7x plus 4x means it will be minus 3x minus 28 is equal to 11 by 30. Now this minus 11, 11 they get cancelled. So it is 1 by this is equal to minus 1 by this is equal to 1 by 30. So if you cross multiply x square minus 3x minus 28 is equal to minus 30 minus 30 so x square minus 3x minus 28 plus 30 is equal to 0 so the equation becomes x square minus 3x minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now it, be, it has come to the standard form. We can now solve that equation by any method we want either by factorization or by this thing because he has not specified anything. Now I will do it by formula method a is 1 here b is minus 3 and c is plus 2. Right. So, using the formula method, x will be equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, minus b means minus of minus 3 plus r minus square root of b square minus 3 the whole square minus 4 into a is 1 c is 2 divided by 2 into 1 so that will be plus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 8 divided by 2 that is plus 3 plus or minus root of 1 divided by 2 that is 3 plus 1 square root of 1 is 1 only 3 plus 1 by 2 or it is 3 minus 1 by 2 so it is 4 by 2 or 2 by 2 if it is 4 by 2 it is 2 or it is 1 it is either 2 or 1 that is the, the these are the roots of this equation roots of this equation are 2 and 1 I hope it is clear to you you have understood it. Now we will take some more problems, a few more problems. <coughs> I will take a problem given in the form of a sentence. Now for example, the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side, find the sides of the field. Right? There is a rectangular field. This is the rectangular field. You can draw a rough figure. This is its diagonal. Diagonal. Now this is the shorter side. This is the longer side. This is length. This is breadth. And this is the diagonal. He says, let us say, this is x. The shorter side is x. Now he says this is x plus 60. Diagonal is x plus 60. And the longer side is x plus 30. It is 30 meters more than the it is 30 meters more than the uh, smaller shorter side find the sides of the field he says. Now, if you draw this sketch, now this is nothing but, if I call this as A, B, C, D is the field. Now, A, C, D is a, is a right angle triangle. So, we know that 
x square plus x plus 30 square must be equal to x plus 60 the whole square that is sum of the square on AD and BC must be equal to the square on AC that is the sum of the squares of uh, squares sum of the squares of these two sides is equal to square on the hypotenuse so this is x square plus x square plus 2 into x into 30 2 ab this is a plus b the whole square formula plus b square that is 30 square is equal to here again x square plus 2 into x into 60 plus 60 square now this will be 2x square plus 60x plus 900 30 square will be 900 is equal to x square plus 120x plus 6 6 are 36 3600 3600 now if I transport this this side 2x square plus 60x plus 900 these are the things this side minus x square minus 120x minus 3600 is equal to 0 now 2x square minus x square is 1x square 1x square these two can be added plus 60x minus 120x that becomes minus 60x these two can be added because they are numbers minus 3600 plus 900 that is minus 2700 is equal to 0 now it has come to the standard form a is 1 b is minus 60 and c is c is minus 2700 now you can use the formula for the root x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so minus b that is minus of minus 60 plus or minus square root of b square minus 60 the whole square minus 4ac 4 into a is 1 this is minus 2700 whole thing divided by 2 into 1 this is what you get by substituting those values of a b and c next minus of minus 60 will be x is equal to 60 plus or minus square root of 60 square minus 60 square will be 3600 plus uh, this minus into minus becomes plus 27 into 4 27 into 4 is 108 108 followed by two zeros two zeros divided by 2 so this will be 3600 plus 1 uh, 10800 that will be 60 plus or minus root of 144 followed by two zeros divided by 2 so that will be 60 plus or minus square root of 144 is 12 120 by 2 now x will be equal to 60 plus 120 by 2 or 60 minus 120 by 2 now 60 plus 120 means it is 180 180 by 2 or 
it is minus 60 by 2. So the answer is answer is 90 meter or minus 30 meter. Now a dimension cannot be this cannot be the answer. We cannot take we, this cannot be negative. The value of x cannot be negative. So this is the only positive the possible value. So x is taken as 180 uh, sorry 90 meter. x is taken as 90 meter. If this is 90, this is 90, this is 90 plus 30 that will be 120 meters. 120 meters and this will be 90 plus 60 that will be 150 meters. 150 meters. You can check that whether the square on these two, the sum of the squares on these two is equal to this, the square on that or not. Whether AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. You can verify and see the answer. Is that understood? Now, one more problem we can do, I think. I think we can do one more problem. A train travels 360 kilometer. A train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed. At a uniform speed. At a uniform speed. A train travels 360 kilometer. This is the distance traveled. Distance traveled is 360 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 kilometers per hour more, if the speed was 5 kilometers per hour more than what it was, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train, he says. Find the speed of the train. Now, let the speed of the train be, let the speed of train, speed of train be x kilometers per hour, x kilometers per hour. Then, then time taken, time taken for the journey for the journey is equal to distance travelled divided by time take and the velocity or speed so many hours so many hours the time taken time taken at the higher speed at the higher speed, that is, higher speed will be for the same journey, will be 360. It was traveling at x kilometers per hour. Now it is 5 kilometers per hour more. That means it is x plus 5. So many hours. Now this has taken more time. This has taken lesser time because the velocity is more, denominator is more. So the difference between these two, according to the given problem, 360 divided by x minus 360 divided by x plus 5 is equal to 1 hour. The difference is 1 hour. It would have covered the journey one, in 1 hour short had it travelled at a speed of x plus 5 kilometers per hour. So now what we have to do is bring this equation to the standard form. It will be x into x plus 5. This is the LCM of the denominators. Here you get 360 into x plus 5 minus 360 into x is equal to 1. So <coughs> this will be we get 360 into x that is 360x 360 into x 
plus 360 into 5. 0, 5, 6 are 30, 3, 18. 1800 minus 360x divided by x into x is x square plus x into 5 is 5x is equal to 1. Now this 360, this 360x will cancel because one is positive and the other is negative. So cross multiplying, this is 1 by 1. Cross multiplying x square plus 5x is equal to into 1 means it remains the same. 1 into 1800 that is 1800 only. So x square plus 5x minus 1800 is equal to 0. Now it is in the standard form. It is in the standard form and a is 1, b is 5 and C is minus 1800. These are the values. Now, we can get the roots of the equation. It has come to the standard form. We can use any method, either by factorization or by formula method. We can get the roots. So, the formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So that will be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1800 divided by 1800 divided by 2 into 1. So minus 5 plus or minus root of 25 plus 4 into 18 7200 divided by 2 minus 5 plus or minus root of 7225 7225 divided by 2. Now, how to find the root of that? Root of 7225. Root of 7225, square root of that. How do you get it? It will be like this. 7225. 2, 2. 8, 8, 64. 8, 8, 64. We will get 8 here. 25 plus 8. If you add, it is 16. 5 are. 5, 5 are 25, 2. 5, 6 are 30, 32, 3. 5, 1 are 5, 8. So the square root of 7, 2, 2, 5 is 85 minus 5 plus or minus 85 divided by 2. So this will be, x will be equal to minus 5 minus 85 divided by 2 or it is minus 5 plus 85 divided by 2. So this is minus 90 by 2 that will be 45 minus 45 or it will be 80 by 2 that is 40 x will be minus 45 or plus 40 now this answer is not practically possible because x here represents the speed of the train the speed of the train cannot be negative so we have to take only the positive value so the speed of the train, first speed of the train is, first speed of the train is, x is 40 kilometers per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. Now we can verify it. See, the distance traveled is 360. If you are trans, uh, traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, 
it will take 0, 0 cancels, 4 ones are 4, 4 nines are 36. It will take 9 hours to complete the journey. Now, if it was traveling at a speed of 5 kilometers more, that means 5 kilometers per hour more means it will be 45. 360. 9 fives are 45. 9 fours are 36. 0. 5 ones are 5 eights are. That is 8 hours. See now the time taken for the same journey of 360 kilometers is 8 hours, which is 1 hour less than lesser than the lesser than the earlier time. So that is correct. What we have done is correct, that is the verification. Hmm.